Hello, welcome to Glendale Today. I'm Council Member Joyce Clark, and today I'm in jail. If you are a regular viewer of the Glendale Today Show, you know I've done some pretty wacky things. We've been up in a helicopter viewing West Glendale. We've been to the Renaissance Hotel to do a cooking show. And I've even been to the city cemetery to, to dig a grave. Well, this is in keeping with some of my more famous wacky shows. Today, we're in the city jail. And my guests are Sergeant Jeanette Washington and Officer Joe Howell. Both are detention officers in our city jail. Welcome, Jeanette. Tell me, where are we? We're in the Glendale City Jail, and we're in the booking area, and the jail is physically and located on 6835 North 57th Drive, which is in the police department in the basement. And I bet you 90% of the people watching the show have no clue that we've had a city jail all, all these years. It's been here around what, 20 years? About 20 years. Yeah. I started 20 years ago here in this building, yes. All right. Yes. Now, let's talk about the first thing that I would think about is how safe is it for me to be in jail, Jeanette? We protect you 24 hours. How, uh, how do you protect me? We protect you by keeping you uh, safe, keeping constant view of, you, of yourself. We have alarms throughout the jail mm -hmm. that we can set off in case something happens. Um, fire department comes in case mm -hmm. you have a medical emergency. Um, and we also have um, assistance from officers out on the street in case something breaks out. Do you have cameras? I mean, are there cameras watching us right now? Yes, ma'am. We have cameras all throughout the jail. Do you have somebody who monitors those cameras? We monitor the whole jail 24 hours okay. a day, yes. All right. You haven't talked about the kind of people that come into jail, but I know I've heard the term customers. You refer to the people who come to visit jail as customers. Well, why that and why not just call them inmates or whatever? There are customers. They haven't, uh, they're just here for uh, maybe a mistake they have made out outside of the street, outside these doors. Um, they are our customers because uh, we're here to make sure that they go to court. They haven't been sentenced. That's why they're not called inmates. Mm -hmm. So they're detainees or they're our customers. Okay. Now, I, I come to this jail. What measures, what things will you do to actually assist me while I'm in jail? Like if I want to call somebody or something like that. We have a phone that they, while they're being booked, they can make phone calls to the outside or their parents, their family members, or where they can arrange for it to post a bond. They also have access to a phone in the back once they get processed in the big sales and they collect calls only, but they are able to make phone calls to it throughout their stay here so they can make arrangements to post a bond. Because when, when people watch television shows, they'll say at the end, you know, you can get have your one telephone call now. <laughs> right. uh, here you can make multiple calls. I mean, if you can't get somebody, you can call somebody else. Right. We get we have access to the phone out uh, landline out here that they can make phone calls while they're being processed here. Uh, once they're in the back, they have to be collect calls only. Yes. So they they have access to a phone to call an attorney yeah. or to as as long as they are cooperative. They're not fighting, they're not pulling on the phone. We let them make a phone call up here. Once they're in the back, then they make a call in the back. Now, I was behind bars, so I assume that when a person comes in here, they're put in this room, and the officer works here, or you work here, and do the type, the entry work typing? That's correct. Once the person is on that other side, the uh, patrol officer or the booking officer will sit on the, on the computer here on the keyboard and will start asking the questions from a name, last name, first name, mm -hmm. uh, date of birth, um, address.